Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to share with you my five most basic trim tools. These are the most basic tools that I use every day. So this video definitely isn't advanced tools or anything like that. But these tools I'm gonna to share with you, I use them every day and we'll start with the most basic tool there is and I'll tell you about each tool, what I like about it and how I use it on the job. So the first one is gonna be the tape measure, obviously. If you're gonna be doing finished carpentry, you need a good tape measure. One I recommend, I'm not sponsored by Stanley or anything like that, which is unfortunate because I would definitely endorse their products if they did sponsor me. But my go-to tape measure, that more than any other tape measure that I like is the Stanley Fat Max 25. And that's this one right here, Stanley Fat Max 25 footer. And the reason I like this tape measure is because it's got what they call blade armor on the Fat Maxes, all the Fat Maxes have it. And it's, I've torn actually some of the DeWalt tape measures when I'm, you know, using them rigorously and they'll get like a little cut in them, even the Milwaukee ones. And eventually it'll just start to be a little, like a little splinter in the metal of the tape measure. And I've actually cut myself on those before, but this, this one's wrapped in what they call blade armor. And it's got a nice bend to it where you can get it in the corners of walls and everything. And the best thing about this one, it has an 11 foot standout. So if you could take this out to 11 foot and it's still standing out way over there off in the distance. And if I keep going right there, you can see it snapped at 11 foot. So that's really good when you're trying to get an accurate measurement on crown molding and you don't want to bust out the laser tape measure. So if you just got this, you can 11 foot stand out and make it happen. But this is my go-to and I use a 25 because I, I like the 16 when I'm doing baseboard, but for the crown molding where you've got longer runs and things like that, the 25 is my favorite. Because the 16, you're not really gonna get 16 foot out of a 16 foot tape measure. And even with the 25, it'll go to like 24 and a half. Now the second most basic tool that I use is this Dasco Pro Trim Pry Bar. Again, I'm not endorsed by any of these companies, but this is just what I use, so I'm being honest with you here. Um, these are the tools that I like, but this is a Dasco Pro and it's a just straight up trim pry bar. Now what I'll use this to do, or use this for, is whenever I need to remove small pieces, when I need to cope something in, or if I'm just trying to get a miter to line up, say on a door casing, if I have a door casing that, you know, the miters aren't really coming together, I can put this behind one of the miters, one of the casings and pry it out a little bit. And you know, in the real world, nothing's ever perfect. You got drywall, you got studs that are out of whack. If you put this behind there, you can toenail into your casings, into your baseboards, you can line up your copes, all with this little easy tool you can put in your back pocket or in your tool belt. So I'll use it mostly, I'll mostly use this side, the short side, when I'm trying to remove materials, and then I'll use the long side when I'm trying to adjust miters and copes and get them perfect. So again, another basic tool, but a very necessary one. This is a digital angle, angle finder. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen me use this and talk about it. But it just, you push on and you hold the two rulers together and it gives you a reading of zero. And then you can open it. You can loosen the wheel here, open it, and it'll give you a reading of what degrees that is. Then you can reverse it for acute and obtuse angles. And then once you got your position, you can tighten it down and then you can read it. If you know we had this angle 47.5, we would split that in two and have our miter. So it's really very handy. And you know, at this point in my career, as far as you know, finding angles, I can almost look at an angle and tell you which one it is, you know, just by looking at it or get pretty close. But on those oddball angles where I have no idea what angle it is, I just bust this thing out and put it up on the wall, bam, good to go or down on the floor. And I can find the angles with this. Also when I'm doing stairs, Wayne Scotting downstairs, we'll use this a lot. You already know it's coming. The CA glue. The CA glue is something I use on a daily basis. And if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know 
this is my go-to if you don't know what this is i'll link a video down in the description i go through a full 30 minute video on how this works how it reacts to all kinds of different materials and woodworking and i even show how the chemical process takes place when i put glue on a table and activate it and you could see it kind of burn so it's a pretty cool video you could check that out in the description but this we use it all the time main use of this is for outside corners and returning moldings so whenever we're doing a return where a ceiling drops off or we have to terminate it at an end result like a stair a staircase or something or where the ceiling drops off with crown we're always using this so again check that video out i'll link it in the description but this is a two-part glue with a glue and then an activator so that's the fourth most basic tool that i use every day and i call this a tool because it's a tool to get the job done and the last thing that i use is this laser measurer here and this is one of those things that you it's, it's something that at least for me i was like nah i don't need that you know i got my fat max i got my tape measure but whenever this was given to me by a friend i found out how valuable it was and i can't imagine now working without it it's one of those things where you wonder how you functioned without it before but laser measurement all you got to do is it shoots a laser into your corner you can do this for you can set it to different um, units of measurement obviously in the united states we're using uh, foot feet and inches so i've got it set up for feet and inches but most of the time i just have it on inches because when i shoot this in a wall i'll get that reading and then i'll bust out my tape measure and then just mark off the inches so i only use this really for footage whenever i'm doing um, an estimate or i'm walking a job to see how much materials i'm going to need maybe i'll shoot this and say all right here's a 20 foot wall 25 foot wall but this is very precise and it's almost too precise to where i usually have to subtract a 16th of an inch from it to get an accurate measurement because if you go off what this says exactly your measure all your pieces will be super tight which is good it's much better than being short you always would rather be long than short because you can adjust that but just a, a little word of knowledge this bosch laser measure at least for me is it's always reading a little bit larger than the stanley tape measure and this this makes it great you know if i'm doing something alone if i don't have a helping hand i can just shoot this i can hold it in the corner shoot it the laser and it's going to read it's not going to read way over there probably on that building but it'll tell me a measurement like 285 inches so then i can be like okay good i can get that piece set up so again uh, another very basic tool but these are my top five most most used tools every day on every job site so if you have any questions or if you wonder why a tool was left out that you use every day just leave it in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer you but that's going to do it for this one until next time i'll see you next time and take care